I had forgotten they were working on a Crow reboot, and I didn't know they were this far along to the point where they have a trailer. I'm a fan of the original one. I even reviewed it. A reboot? I, I'm, I'm skeptical. Just knowing what I know about the first one, the tragic death of Brandon Lee, was and is still iconic and a classic, and remaking it just seems kind of weird. Bill Skarsgård is in it? He's the Crow? All right, I'll give it a shot. We have the trailer here. We're gonna go over it. Not the first time he's done clown makeup. Just saying. What's the first thing you liked about me? I thought that you were quite brilliantly broken. Are they in a pink prison? Oh, you let's feel see. like my person. <laughs> you feel like my person. What's All right. It looks like we're gonna get a little bit more of the the romance in between. Well, actually, we don't know. It was kind of given off in, in small pieces in the first movie. In the original movie, it was um, kind of spaced out. We went right into the action. I don't know if we're going to start with them being lovey-dovey, we get used to them, and then we whack her. The worst thing you've ever done. I saw things. I shouldn't have seen any of it. Looks like the bad guys have more supernatural elements to them. Other than that great Michael Wincott voice. Damn. Ooh, this is brutal. Oh, that's messed up. In the first movie, they he was shot, thrown out a window. This is slow and torturous. This is this is a lot more brutal. That's a pause to please the copyright. When someone dies. A crow carries their soul to the land of the dead. And sometimes something so bad happens. If they keep struggling, the crow isn't going to want to carry your ass back, so... That the soul cannot rest. Until you put the wrong things right. Oof. You were given the power of a god. But you're running out of time to save her. Ooh! I'm gonna kill oh, gonna have to censor that. Single one of them. Killed you. Yeah, we did. We have a problem. He came for us. I feel like this is going to be a lot more slick and stylized. The first movie had kind of a gritty quality to it. Had its own style going, for sure, but this one looks like it's going for a whole MTV kind of a vibe. I'm here for it. First impulse. Anger. He better be careful. That Florida Joker is probably going to try to sue him. It's not anger. It's love. Look at what you've become. You know that love promises only pain. Love never dies. You have no idea what but it certainly has a body count. No, that one. I do. He just shot the bad guy through himself. How hard is that? You be motherfucker! How many people have you loved? I'll never be alone. Oh. Okay. I am intrigued. I'm a lot more intrigued than I was before. It looks pretty slick. It looks pretty violent, which... It's a violent story, and trying to do it in PG-13 kind of does it a disservice. 
I'm always bugged, but when a movie like Friday the 13th, when they were trying the PG-13 thing, the concept is bloody. It's violent. It's people getting killed left and right. But you can't show it. Then why talk about it? That's, that's a nitpick I have. It looks interesting. I don't know if it's going to be comparable to the original. I don't know if it'll be fair to even compare them. It looks like they're trying to do something a little different. I read that this might be based on a different crow. So who, who knows? I didn't even catch his name. Is it Eric Draven? Is it the same character? Or is this another thing like the other crow movies were? So I don't think it would be fair to compare these two. Do something new. Bring something different to the table. Comparable yet different. And they're just different interpretations. Maybe they can live side by side. Just introduce the crow to a new generation. I, I can see this. If this does well, we're looking at another franchise. May or may not be a good thing. Tell me what you think, and I'll talk to you later.